Hello everybody. Today I am going to talk on symbol table. Symbol table is a major data structure used in a compiler or interpreter. It is used by all the faces in compiler. What is symbol table? Identifiers and its relevant information are stored in symbol tables. What is an identifier? An identifier is simply the name of a program or name of the variable within a program that are used to identify the relevant data or information. Normally, identifier start with letter and it should not have any space in them. Identifier's name, its data type, its procedure name, its scope are stored in symbol tables. Operations of symbol table. Two main operations of symbol table are insert and lookup. First we will see about insert. Insert operation takes the symbol and its attributes as argument and store the information in symbol table. That is if we want to insert variable C specify insert c comma int so here the identifier and its attributes are stored in symbol table the next operation is lookup lookup operation is used to search the symbols in symbol table lookup operation occurs a lot more often than insert some more operations on symbol table Allocate. Allocate operation allocates a new empty symbol table. Free. Free operation removes all entries and frees the storage of symbol table. Delete. Delete operation removes a name previously inserted. Implementation. Symbol table can be implemented in one of the way. Linear list, binary search tree, hash tables or the way of implementing symbol table. Mostly symbol tables are implemented as hash table when source code symbol itself is treated as key for hash function. Uses of symbol table. Symbol table information is used by analysis and synthesis phase of compiler. It is used to verify expression and assignments are semantically correct, that is type checking. Next is to generate intermediate or target code. Scope management. Compiler maintains two types of symbol table. They are global symbol table and scope symbol table. What is global symbol table? Global symbol table means identifier and its relevant information are accessed by all the procedure. Scope symbol table means identifier and its relevant information are accessed by only the procedure within the scope. Global symbol table is the parent table. Scope symbol table is the child table. So here to determine the scope of name, Symbol tables are ar arranged in hierarchical structure. Consider the example. Here, the simple program is represented in hierarchical format. Consider the table. Here, global table is accessed by both function 1 and function 2 of symbol tables. Global table is parent table. Function 1 and function 2 symbol tables or child tables. The symbol mentioned in function 1 symbol tables are not available for function 2 symbol tables and its children. That is, symbols are not available for siblings and its children. They are available only to their children 
and dire parents whenever a symbol needs to be searched in a symbol table it is searched using following algorithm first a symbol will be searched in current scope that is current symbol table if name found search completed else it will be searched in parent symbol table thus the symbol table is also explained shortly thank you please do subscribe my channel for more videos